The great thing about these videos is that you get to go at your own pace, so pause it anytime you fall behind as I go. Chapter seven is going to be about prepositions, and luckily we've been working on those all year, so this should be fairly easy. Let's go ahead and start reading page 124. Pause the video and read that first highlighted bit, the example and the explanation. Let's copy down that a preposition tells position or shows relationship between a noun or pronoun. Remember that a noun is a person, place, or thing, and a pronoun is he, she, you, it, etc. A preposition can also be more than one word, so go ahead and pause the video and read the common prepositions, the examples, and the multi-word prepositions. Multi-word prepositions also have an object with them. So for example, we have on the bed, over the hill, under the desk, below the bridge. These are more than one word. They're not multi-word prepositions because they're not according to, in regard to, but these are the prepositions with their objects. So for exercise one, it says, identify the prepositional phrase. So that's gonna be a preposition plus an object. Then you're gonna name each preposition. So number one, it says, people owe a debt to the painter George Catlin. Pause the video and try and guess that one on your own. You are correct if you said to the painter George Catlin and the preposition is to. Move this up. Number two. <laughs> Number two, it says in the 1830s, he began to paint representatives from various Native American groups in the United States. Pause the video and try to answer that on your own. So there's actually three phrases in this sentence. In the 1830s, the preposition is in. From various Native American groups, the preposition is from. And in the United States, the preposition is in. Number three, it says, originally he painted members of the Iroquois in New York State. Pause the video and try to answer that. This is one of the tougher ones because we always forget this preposition, but the preposition is of, of the Iroquois, in, in New York State. So once you're done taking these notes and you understand, write down any questions you might still have and then go answer exercise two and three on Google Classroom. I modeled examples for you, so you should be able to do it.